Holly Hanley and for decor and we're gonna have some fun today using the patio paint outdoor acrylics to create this cute little terracotta pot. Now if you're looking to do an outdoor project and even something with your kids this is the paint for you. It's so easy to use it comes in 65 different vibrant colors and you can use it on a variety of different surfaces like wood, masonry, concrete and of course terracotta which I'm going to show you today. So let's get started. I wanna show you just how easy and how well this paint covers over the terracotta. It's amazing. So you're just gonna need a flat brush or you can use a foam brush if you like. Um, I've got some paper towel, a little plate to put my paint on and of course some water. So I'm just gonna wet the brush first, tap off all the excess water. Okay, and you're gonna take your paint and today I'm using the Patio Paint Cloud White and also some Desert Turquoise, some of my favorite colors. Okay, so you're just gonna shake the paint really well and you can put a little bit on your palette. Okay, so tap off all the excess water from your brush. And I wanna show you how well this covers. It's amazing. Okay. It just goes on beautifully. paint this any color that you like of course there's 65 vibrant colors to choose from from which is really nice so you have lots of choice okay and they dry to a satin finish which is really nice okay. so I'm just picking up paint you can see how well it goes on take a little bit of that desert turquoise and I'm gonna start at the bottom and just kind of work into the white oh I love this color it's one of my favorites okay now this doesn't have to be perfect we're actually gonna do a little bit of stenciling on top which is fun I decided to use the bloom stencil it's called garden bloom by Decorart it's such a pretty one. Okay, and I'm just gonna work up and add a little bit more white. Okay, and the colors just blend really nicely together. It looks so pretty. Okay, it adheres really well. Okay, and I'm just picking up sort of like a double load. So I've got a little bit of that turquoise on the one side of my brush and then a little bit of white on the other. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep that white side towards the, the edge of the pot. So it's just getting a little lighter as we work up. So pretty, reminds me of the ocean. Okay, and I did the same thing with the pink pot. Okay, and I'm just keeping all my strokes really nice and long and horizontal. Okay, don't worry if it's not perfect. No big deal, it just adds to the charm. Okay, so you can see how well the colors cover. It's so nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna paint the inside of the pot. This is gonna seal the pot and prevent any moisture from wicking through to the front of the pot, which would cause um, cracking and peeling. Okay, so I'm just giving it a nice coat so I can plant a really pretty flower in my pot. And you wanna seal that really well all over. Okay, so get the paint right through on the bottom as well. Okay, didn't that turn out pretty? Such an easy little technique to do, and it gives it a really nice, actually sort of a beachy feel. Okay, so I painted the inside as well and the bottom just because I'm planning on putting a nice little flower in my pot. Okay, and again, that prevents any moisture from wicking through to the front, which would cause bubbling or peeling. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of um, a stencil to my pot. Okay, so I picked the um, actually Garden Bloom. It's a DecoArt decor stencil. 
And what I like to do with my stencils is I actually just use the scissors and I cut them. And I it just find that it's a little easier to maneuver. Okay, so, and I, you could put the bloom words on it, which would be really pretty. Um, today I'm just gonna use the flower part. Okay, and for this you need a stencil brush or something similar to that. You can just basically use an old uh, chip brush even. Okay, so you're gonna hold this in place, okay, like so. And you can even, here, I'm just gonna take these garden gloves, come in handy, and I'm gonna put this underneath the pot just to sort of level it a little bit, and it's gonna help hold it in place. Okay, so you just hold the stencil. You're gonna take, I didn't wet the brush first. I'm just gonna use it dry. And when you're stenciling, you wanna make sure that you get rid of um, quite a bit of paint off your brush. Um, if you use a lot of paint, it's gonna end up going underneath your stencil. So you wanna sort of be careful not to use too much paint. Just a little bit on your brush goes a long way. Okay, and you can either pounce like this, so you can do sort of a swirling motion. Okay, but the trick is just a tiny little bit of paint on your brush, okay? Just to make sure that it doesn't go underneath the stencil or seep through, okay? This is gonna be so pretty in my patio. Okay, and I picked white, but you could definitely do different colors. So maybe I'll try a pink one or a yellow. It would look really nice, okay? pretty that is okay and then maybe I'll add I'm gonna do a pink one here and just see what that looks like so you can really play with your pots like just add put any colors that you like oh so pretty love it and so easy to do and adds a nice little pop of color to your patio once you finish your stenciling on your pretty little pot, you're gonna let that dry for at least 72 hours before exposing to any moisture. Then you can go ahead and plant your plants in there and enjoy your beautiful pot on your patio. I can't wait to see what you create with DecoArt Patio Paint Outdoor Acrylics. I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Have fun. This has been Holly in for DecoArt.